Hey, what's up guys? Matt with BK Vending here. Uh, back for our fourth video. In this video, um, if you didn't watch our second one, please check it out. Um, all the kids got to choose a machine and they purchased one. And Logan has been working really hard to get his all nice and clean and painted. So he's he's got it all cleaned up and painted. So we're just going to film him putting it together. Um, we're just waiting on a key. Once the key gets here, his machine will be good to go. We can go try to get it placed. So we're going to go turn over to him and let him uh, show us how to put it together. Um, so you take the pole and put it in to the base. And on the bottom it can go through so you just kind of maybe want to put your finger there so it doesn't. And then once you get it as far as you want it, you take a 7 16 wrench and you um, tighten it. So, this might take a while. I'm going to tighten it back in there for a little bit. Okay, so it's all tightened, and so after that, it's the base, which is there. And we'll place it on. And next is the and then the mechanism and you put never mind put this piece on and you make sure the hole goes through it then you put the well I'm not sure what it's called And when you're done with that, you just take the lid and make sure it lines up with the bolt. And it's kind of a weird thing to get on level. And then when you're done, you, or I don't have a lock, but normally you would lock it on. And that's it. Have you started it? Mm hmm Okay. So I think he did a pretty good job. He, he painted it himself, put it all back together, cleaned it up all himself. It looks pretty good. Noah's going to show you just some of the other um, machines that we have. We're kind of working on just different colors just to kind of see what, what works, what doesn't. So one thing I wanted to point out, if Noah can get real close in on this one, we took the, the mylars off and you can see the bumps and stuff that are here. Um, it's just like sticker residue and stuff like that. You can see it there real close. So it's pretty gross. So what we did was we just kind of tried to sand that down and use a drill. I'm going to show you this one real quick. He can zoom in here on the corners. You have to be real careful because if you don't if you don't get all that stuff out, you can see right in there how it leaves some of that sticker residue. This part out here looks fine. There's there's no real residue in here, but back up in that corner there, it's real hard to get at. Um, so just make sure when you're doing that, like for instance this one. We, we sanded it down real good, and there are still tiny little bits back in the corner there, but for the most part, all that sticker residue stuff is gone, so when we paint it, it'll look nice and good, and we had to sand a few other areas and stuff. But So we're working on them. We'll do some more videos as we uh, get them cleaned up.
Oh, so uh, Noah said, what do we use to sand? So I'll show you guys real quick. All right, so all we've been using is just this little steel brush. It fits in the drill. Uh, you can get these at any hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, True Value, Ace, whatever is, is close to you. It's like a couple bucks, maybe three or four bucks. We also had just like some wet, dry sandpaper that we were using uh, to try to help sand everything down. Um, so we just bought some of that and it has like a little holder thing here. And then I found this just in my garage. It's just a, a sponge and it has like four different sides of, of sandpaper. We've, we've kind of abused that one pretty good, but uh, it also worked. Uh, we are gonna try some sandblasting. Uh, We'll, we have another video specifically focused on that, so we'll kind of go over all of that um, coming up. So look forward for that one. But uh, until then, I'm proud of Logan and how hard he's worked to get that all ready to go. He's excited to get it to, ready to go. and um, So that's it for this, this episode. Please make sure and watch our other ones. If you like what you see, subscribe so you can follow us on this journey and uh, cheer the kids on as much as I am. And uh, thanks so much, and we'll see you on the next one.